Hi Virgo, welcome to your October New Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So, Virgo, not quite sure if it's still your birthday. Um, this will be going out on like the 21st, so we may be into Libra season already, but if it is, happy birthday. If not, then happy belated birthday. So anyway, Virgo, we're looking at new love. So new love for me can be maybe someone you're just dating, getting to know, someone you know, never been romantic with, a crush, or someone you haven't met yet. So if you take this as a nasty ex or something, it's probably not your reading. My intention for this reading, spirit please, is to bring in new love energy for Virgo. So what I'll be doing in this reading, Virgo, is taking more um, of a look of this person's energy. So we could see, I'll tell you if I think you may know them or not, you know, or if you're going to meet them, whatever the case may be, I will tell you that. But if you think you know them, then trust um, your intuition, you know, it's your reading. All right, so this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip switch it if you need to. Uh, cross watches as well. If you're crushing on a Virgo, could be a reading for you. And Virgo, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist and my other channel, Backup Channel. Really appreciate if you check it out. Links are below. And I'll tell you a little more about that channel in a few minutes. So welcome in Virgo. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let us see. This fair card, I'm ready to throw it out the window. Because this is coming out almost every freaking reading. And I shuffle like crazy in between, and then you see me shuffle on camera. So I may pick you one more because I just just got this for uh, Taurus. Plus, it's come out for other readings. So, but we do have here seven uh, professional assistants. Seven is a spiritually divinely guide energy. Actually, we have two sevens here. Joy is fun. Hmm. Then we have fear. And we have five, which is about change. I'm almost feeling like here, um, intuition and manifestation three, which is about growth, expansion, building, rebuilding. You may be, um, if it's not a professional assistant, this could be like a mentor, a coach, maybe someone you're training with. It could be on a job. It could be something else. Maybe you have a lot of fun with this person, but it's more like professional or maybe just a friendship co-worker um or you know someone just in community or social type settings i feel like there's a fear here about crossing that line into like romance so there may be feelings starting to develop here that's kind of what i'm feeling um it's like intuition and manifestation someone may be feeling like okay i think you know maybe we're meant to be together i think they may like me too so maybe someone's trying to manifest the connection but I also feel like there's fear about crossing that line into from, you know, either friendship, professional, co-worker, whatever the case may be, to romance. It's like, do we cross a line? <laughs> do we cross that line? So there's a little bit of fear here. The fives are about change, so you'd have a five there. Something's growing because we do have a three, which can be about growth, expansion as well. All right. Virgo, let's see. Let's see what is going on in this connection. Also, Virgo, everything you need to know is down below. I think I said that already. Your playlist and everything. Yeah, I said that already. Uh, what I want to say is go to the community tab because you will find lots of info there, polls, lots of stuff. And also, you've been noticing that I've been doing less readings. My full time job has a lot of overtime. So, I'm no longer doing eight readings a month to a week. I'm doing six a month. So you'll see the readings come out three at a time by element, you know, throughout the week. Um, but I'll be focusing more on love now. So in addition to, um, I just saw <laughs> devil here. So there's definitely temptation, Capricorn energy. And there's the Ace of Swords. So there's the clarity here. Confusion about crossing that line. Yeah, taking action on it. Chariot energy. Oh. All right, so <laughs> a little bonus message there. Anyway, uh, I'll be doing the uh, monthly love readings like I have been doing, the new love like this, the singles, and then I'll be adding uh, no contact, twin flame, and how they feel, their next move, and love messages. If you're interested in those general other kind of readings I was doing, spirit messages, money, career, 
I'll be doing more of that type on my other channel, but they will be like kind of timeless readings. So the links are below if you want to check out some of the current readings over there, and I'll tell you even a little more about the channel at the end, the other channel. So let's see what is going on with this person. So we have the Nine of Swords. So I could be Strayer, <laughs> Fear, Stress, Worry, Anxiety. I know I talk fast sometimes, <laughs> but in the Hangman, someone feels stuck. Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Justice. Somebody could be divorced here. Or they're just, um, I mean, that could be the professional assistance. It could be a lawyer or something like that as well. And Ten of Wands. So there's some sort of ending happening here. Someone's been through a heck of a struggle and battle here. But something's moving forward quickly now. So I kind of feel like here, um, Virgo, I feel like they're, they've been through a very stressful or in the middle of a very, or towards the end of a very stressful situation. Maybe they felt stuck for a very long time. Could be a marriage. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen, doesn't matter. Could be somebody who's married. Kind of gives me that energy. Uh, but I feel like the end is almost here. With, you know, could be divorce or something like that. Or legal matters of some kind. And then we have the 10 with the endings here where this burden is about to be laid down and put to rest. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, so it could have been someone maybe you worked with at one time or you are working with in some way, shape, or form on a project or whatever that may be. And, or maybe you're getting guidance, you know, they could be a lawyer, a judge. Well, I don't want to say a judge, that wouldn't make sense, but a lawyer or someone of professional guidance or assistance or a mentorship um, as well. But they could be at, in the throes of the ending of a marriage of some kind. For some but whatever they were stuck in is about to come to an end as well i feel like it may be you virgo that's trying to manifest maybe this connection but there's a little bit of fear here crossing the line or maybe taking that leap because she does kind of look like the fool they are uh, getting ready to take a leap off the edge it's like should i tell them how i feel now or wait till their cycle is complete I do see a lot of fun, the two of you having a lot of fun when you're working together or doing whatever you're doing together. So I do think this is someone you know or you have known. So I do see Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, or it could be any earth sign. That could actually be you, Virgo. So they're definitely thinking of you during this situation, that is for sure. So let's get a little more here. Page of Cups, Sincere, Gesture, Moon. See, someone is fearful about approaching or coming forward with like the love invitation or the romantic invitation. I, I don't want to say love, I want to say more like romantic. Like can we take this more on the romantic side? So there's a little fear surrounding that. Two cards of Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Single, independent. I think somebody may wait here till they're single. I, th I feel like this someone may feel like it's it, i don't think we can cross that line right now i think we gotta wait till single so it could be the both of you it could be them emperor divine masculine so it could be a business owner entrepreneur a leader in some shape or form a coach mentor a tutor something like that eight of swords yeah so until this person masculine perhaps can get themselves unstuck and this energy comes to an end they're single, free, and independent. I'm not so sure they're going to cross that line of sending out the romantic gesture or invitation um, until a, some sort of cycle is complete here. And even then they may be fearing this because you may have just a good repertoire with this person. Maybe like, do we want to break the friendship or break the um, kind of energy that is here, you know? whether it's alliance, acquaintance, whatever, whatever this may be. It's like, I, I'm not so sure they're going to want to cross the line. There's a lot of fear here. And again, that is about intuition, which we have right here. New cycles. So again, I see Aries now and two cards of Pisces. So let's see what else we need to know. Here. So it could be you or them, but somebody's afraid to cross the line, I feel. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Well, we do have Wish Fulfillment, Happiness, and Joy, another single energy. We have the Page of Wands, which is more communication, exciting offer, communication, news. 
may have a lot of exciting um, conversation with this person where you're sharing a lot of exciting ideas. Um, you, like you encourage each other, you uplift each other, very like creative, inspirational, um, spiritual kind of energy. Exciting conversations as well. Like a lot of great ideas. Maybe when you work, yeah, when you work together, Eight of Pentacles, whatever you're doing. Whether it's your actual work or something else. So I see the fire there as well. So you kind of spark. You like light and spark each other up on the creative side as well. We have Three of Cups here. So that can be dating, courting, getting to know, have a good time, celebrating, joy is fun. There you go. So you do have a lot of fun with this person. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Why is that here? Hermit. So there's definitely, there's the ending again. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, the Hermit. I do feel like this person, there's still going to be a lot of interaction with this person, but they're in Hermit mode, so they're still retracting their energy. Single energy, though, the Hermit, but they're doing a lot of introspection right now. They're being very wise and cautious about this. It's like they got one foot out, one foot in, one foot out. <laughs> Because he's holding the one here, holding the one here. So should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? I keep getting that energy. Here's the Ace of Pentacles, though. Could be a solid new beginning for the long term. Then we have taking action in the Four of Wands. Very stable, grounded energy. Again, celebrating, having a good time. Again, I feel like a lot of excitement around this person, a lot of fun, holding back their love and emotions. The King of Cups there, another Pisces card. So... I feel like, you know, when this person is ready and their situation is over and done, I still think they're going to be a little cautious about crossing the line, but they want to. I mean, we have two cards of communication right here. So, like I said, one foot in, one foot out. Should I or shouldn't I? But let's see if they will. See, they're definitely thinking about it. Holding the Ace of Cups right there with the Four of Cups. All right. Five of Pentacles. They may have lost a lot financially, especially if they've gone through a divorce. They're definitely feeling a little lost, lonely, out in the cold. Eight of, oh, there's communication. Cupid's arrows. You may get a text, a phone call, a message. Three of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting to send that message. Waiting. Seven of Swords. Till they are free from whatever they are getting out of. This is about getting out or away from something. Yeah, then there'll be four women in love, courting, dating, getting to know, romantic gestures. Knight of Cups, Scorpio, energy. So let's uh, see if we can find a time frame. Oh my goodness. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. There's some sort of marriage or long-standing commitment that's over. Now the wheels are turning. So I have two tens here, so something possibly by the end of October. Here comes the offer. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. So no more going back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I? This person is going in search of their 10th cup, which they've been holding on reserve right here, which that 10th cup is the Ace of Cups. So also that is, uh, let's see, four, seven, eight. This is, oh yeah, the eight, duh, the Eight of Cups. So there's a ninth cup there, and then the Ace they're considering is the 10th cup. So their wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. No more, uh, you could have past lives with this person. I'm feeling by, uh, we have two tens, major with the ten. Um, probably something definitely by the end of October here. Definitely here. Wow, so get ready for that. So we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So something is over. Now the wheels are sp spinning in motion. Things are moving forward. Here comes the offer. No more back and forth energy, going in search, and f going to find their Virgo here to offer that ninth cup to turn it into the Ten of Cups. Wow. So we have Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. So let's get some... Um, I kind of want to see here, like, I, I do see that you have a lot of... I was going to see the energy of the connection moving forward. Um, but I do see here that you have a lot, a good repertoire with this person anyway. It's like you get along great, you inspire each other, you have a lot of fun together. There is feelings here. It's about, well, the Nine of Cups is there. So we do have the Eight and the Nine. 
And there's the Tenth Cup there with that Page of Cups. So I want to say advice and guidance. Um, this connection. High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles. Solid new beginning. Empress. Hierophant. Oh my gosh. Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be a very committed energy. It's a high-level energy uh, full of morals, values, traditions, standards, wise leadership kind of energy, learning, growing, expanding from each other. Um, well, learning a lot from each other in both, like, encouraging each other, empowering each other. Very spiritual connection as well. So trust, intuition. This is coming. Solid new beginning. There's a new growth happening. You're going to be learning a lot from each other. I see that leadership energy in the new beginning and love is here. Two new beginnings right here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So I see Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Uh, Taurus again. Wow. So something definitely knew this was coming in. So we have Divine Feminine here. I believe we have the, uh, yeah, we have the um, Masculine here with the Emperor and the uh, Empress. So the Empress is being offered this Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. She knew it was coming, so she stood her ground, did the right thing, and now it's coming in. He's had to do it when he was ready, and I think now that line will be crossed. Building and growing, expanding together, exactly. Taking that leap of faith, and a very strong connection cannot be denied, maybe past lives together, been a lot of holding back. But now leaps of faith will be taken. Energetic reset, a fresh new start. And this person coming back here for their past life love soulmate. Queen of Swords. So clarity is coming in. Again with the Page of Swords. So we have uh, Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Aquarius. Wow. So I definitely feel something um, by the end of October here. Definitely. Could be any time you see this through uh, the end of October. We had a lot of tens here anyway. All right. But what else do we need to know here for further? What else? So Virgo, on the backup channel, I will be doing a lot of uh, timeless readings. So you may see uh, timeless collective readings. You'll see all signs with timestamps, different topics. There's one up there now, the next three months ahead, uh, looking at everything, love, money, career, everything. It's from when you see it, the next three months. I may be doing uh, pick a cards. I may be doing uh, little individual readings for each sign, so you'll get your own little video. Different topics also with the general collective messages. At the end, I may throw in a little pick a card or a little extra message for each sign. So I do have a lot of uh, ideas for that channel, so I ask you please Please go check it out. We greatly appreciate it. Links are below. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. And that definitely gives me Emperor and Empress vibes. Answering the call. The time is now. Mm -hmm. So you may be getting that call. Begin now. Take your first steps. So yeah, I think this is going to be happening sooner than what you think. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Hmm. Yeah, th and I said that this person had to do this in their own time. They had to get through the fog, clear the energy, but things are moving forward here. Kind of gives me Six of Swords energy as well, so it can't be rushed. That is for sure. But the line will be crossed, I definitely, and then things will be in the flow here. Smooth sailing ahead. So coming out of the fog and then smooth sailing ahead and you will um find out the truth here about everything wow all right virgo that's what i have for you so i hope that helped that resonate again everything you need to know is now below uh your playlist and the backup channel so wishing you the best and i shall see you next time